Hello there, my name is Filip Danieka, I am CEO at ThatLogic and I want to present you our new product called ThatLogic Web Application Generator. Using it, you can create ready-to-use uh, web applications such as data management systems, content management systems, admin interfaces, by choosing uh, the stack of the application and by defining the database schema. The process is very simple and it is only taking a few minutes. So let's take a look. I click on the Generate uh, Your App button. The, uh, let's imagine I am going to create an online bookstore. So I define the name of the application, it's online bookstore. I go to the second step. On the second step, I choose uh, my stack, stack of uh, my future application. So at the moment, we support React, Angular, and Vue as a front end, Node.js as a back end, and uh, PostgreSQL as a database. But in the future, in the very, uh, very short future, we are planning to release Java, Python, and .NET for the backend, and MySQL and MongoDB as a backend. So uh, I prefer Vue.js. I click on the view and go to the third step. On the third step, I uh, define, um, I choose a design from a list of available designs. For example, I like material. I click on the material design go to the next uh, step. Uh, this step must be very familiar to software engineers and database architects. Uh, on this step, you have to define your database schema um, by defining uh, tables or entities and relations uh, between them. So since we're creating a bookstore, there definitely must be a table called books, right? So I create a table called uh, books. Uh, in this table, there will be a column called title uh, of type string and uh, another column called author of type user, which will be a relation to a previous table called users. Users table is predefined in our schema and cannot be uh, deleted. So I select uh, uh, a relation to uh, users entity. Uh, also, let's um, imagine that our books are going to have some categorization. For this purpose, let's create a table called that. In this table, we will have a column called name, uh, which will be of a type string. Then let's go back to books table uh, and, and create another column called uh, uh, text, which will be relation many to text. Thus, we will be able to specify many tags for each book. Okay, let's go to the next step. Uh, on this step, we review uh, the project and I click on the Create Project button. So here is it, the project that we created. Uh, for the purpose of the demo, I already pre-generated uh, the similar project, but in your case, uh, by simply clicking on the um, on the demo button here, our application is going to generate a live demo for you. So you see a message that the demo is going to be available in a few minutes. This demo is a completely working web application. It's a custom web application uh, created uh, from your uh, database schema and stack. So this application is the same as we just created. So let's take a look at the demo. So here is it, this is a custom domain, your uh, title of the application, uh, name is also here. So I log in, there is a default user called admin at ThreatLogic. So I log in uh, to the application. Here you see a list of entities, they are users, books, tags, and etc. So uh, for example, let's imagine I want to, I see, a, uh, you, you, you can see a list of tags here. So for example, I want to create another tag tag called, uh, uh, we have bio fantasy. Okay, let's create a tag uh, fiction. fiction. So we have another tag in our um, database. Then let's go back to the books entity, uh, books, uh, sorry, page and create another uh, book. Maybe this will be a pathologic storybook. Story. I will be the author and the text will be bio 
and that's it. But we can choose many texts since we specified relation many uh, here. Okay, I save and see this uh, books uh, here. So you can filter entities by title, by author. For example, I want to find Harry Potter and filter those entities. Here is it. I can also change the color scheme of the application. I can choose a dark mode. I can go back. Uh, that's it. So the demo is available. Okay, let's now let's go back to the um, logic website to the generator. So um, in your predefined uh, in, in application that we created, we have a free plan. So uh, for example, if I want to download the source code of this application, I simply click on the download button. But in our case, we don't have the subscription. So in order to download the uh, code, you have to subscribe to the, uh, to the project. So for example, uh, we need to personalize, uh, we need to subscribe to personal uh, plan. Uh, so personal plans allows you to create a project and use and download the project, uh, edit, the, edit the schema, download the code, whatever times is needed. Um, but the only limit is that you can create only 15, up to 15 entities in your project. So, um, okay, so, in, 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 in your, so for example, if you want to upgrade to a personal project, you click here, choose a personal plan. It's going to cost you $49 per month. Uh, so what does it mean? It means that during this month, you will be able to uh, change the database schema of the project and you will be able to download the source code. You will be able to generate as many previews as possible, uh, as needed. Um, and the source code stays yours. So it doesn't mean that after a month, uh, you will not have a right to use the source code. It stays yours. But for example, you want to, I don't know, come back in a month or in a two months and change something. Maybe you have a new client or your database schema changed. So you simply go back, you add new entities, modify the uh, schema and download the project uh, and back. Okay. So, uh, when I try to download, it says that I need to upgrade. So in my case, I have an upgraded project. So it's a personal uh, plan. So I can click on the um, download button. It will send me a zip file. I can open uh, this uh, zip file in my favorite IDE. Uh, so here's the structure. It has backend, frontend, and Docker. So let's open a readme file. Uh, so it has all instruction instructions on how to launch the project. So we need to go back, oh, sorry, we need to go to the backend directory uh, to launch the backend first. You need to uh, yarn run, run yarn. Uh, and you need to do the same uh, thing for the front end. So you need to run yarn. It's going to uh, resolve all packages. So in order to start backend, we need to, um, just one second, I don't remember myself. Uh, you need to run this command to start it locally. And in order to start front end, you need to run um, this command to start it uh, locally. Uh, okay, while it's starting, we can take a look at the source code. So, for example, the backend, uh, we can go to the sources uh, directory. You see that the, it contains all uh, models that we defined in our uh, database schema editor tags, users, uh, books, all this, everything is here. The API is uh, generated for you uh, so you can use it. Also, the front end. Uh, contains all the needed pages uh, here. For example, it's, uh, uh, sorry, it's in components here, tags, uh, users, etc. Everything is generated and everything is yours. So my application um, is ready. I can click on the 
link and access it here. So here is it. The same app available locally. Um, okay, and, and the, the, the last thing that I want to uh, tell about is that we uh, support Swagger documentation for our backend. It's available via uh, this uh, path, so API docs. So you can see that we have books, they are get, get all books, etc. This must be familiar for front end software engineers and back end software engineers. Also, tags, users, etc. You can authenticate uh, with uh, parameters. And uh, I believe that's it. So um, please feel free to leave your feedback. We are happy to present you our product. Uh, in general, we are trying to um, to help software engineers uh, and businesses uh, cut the time they spend on software development. So with this tool, uh, you will be able to um, save a lot of time on defining and creating this basic structure of application. Because uh, based on our experience uh, of so many years in software development, we know that all applications contain this structure the structure to manage data, to create tests, to, to manage entities, to delete them, and to create them, uh, etc. cetera. Uh, mm. So you can use the source code as a very good skeleton and foundation of your further application. So you can simply start developing here inside this folder uh, and inside this folder of backend. Oh, also, I forgot to mention that there is also a Docker available, so you can um, skip the steps and instead of creating an environment um, from scratch, you can simply run Docker. It will save you time as well. Okay, so thank you very much for your time. I hope it was, uh, it was useful and uh, please let us know any feedback and we are happy to uh, help you. Bye.